use him like a lab rat. Yeah. I need free dad home, a super busy mom. Yeah. Yeah. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Talking dog. Three stream jeans and an app breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Teleporter party fun day is gonna roll! <laughs> With teleporters set up all over town, we'll never have to leave the lab. Um, mm, needs a touch more salsa picante. And one ice cold soda. <laughs> one salsa picante and one ice cold soda. <laughs> oh, that's it! I'm taking the job at the movie theater. <laughs> yummy, yum. <laughs> You enter our lab without permission and use our teleporting equipment for tacos and sodas. This is the last straw. You and Dookie are hereby banished from the lab forever! Oh, tell my mom I love her. <laughs> Johnny would gladly trade that cold beverage and lab access for a sizzling bit of gill scoopage. Gill scoopage! <laughs> Is that diet? No, who cares? Ah, I'm better now. Tell us about Gil now! Okay, Gil is in love. <laughs> who is she? The main girl in those teen vampire novels. The moody, conflicted, and converted vampire teen, Exandra? That's the girl in the posters, right? Would you like some more blood, Exandra? It's really just strawberry syrup. <laughs> that boy is in love. How does this benefit us? Gil told me he's hoping to kiss the real thing at the red carpet premiere thingy downtown. Cause Exandra herself is supposed to be there. Still not getting it. She's an actress and not a vampire. So all you have to do is be real vampires and he'll fall in love with you. Cause he loves vampires. Um, hello, vampires aren't real. But vampire bats are. So you guys combine yourselves with a vampire bat and whoosh your DNA gets mixed up and blah, 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 you're kissing Gil. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is the most brilliant thing we've ever heard! To the lab! Uh, we're already in the lab? Well, in that case, let's get to work! Now it's time to win Gil's heart! Johnny, go to the transformation station and pull the big red handle labeled Big Red Handle. <laughs> um, hmm. It's right in front of you. Oh, yeah. And vampire sisters, here we go! Vampires? Are we nuts? My mouth was on fire. They banned us from the lab. Taco Lupas! There's no way they'd be vampires, right? We want to suck your blood! I so blame you for this. Dog, dog! Yeah! Nice day. Yeah, not too humid. Hello, Johnny and Dookie. Or should we say lunch? Wait, vampires aren't supposed to be allowed in the sun. Clue up, Johnny. Hip team vampires glitter in the sun now. I hate glittering team vampires. Have on! Run! <laughs> Don't worry, you'll just feel a little pinch. <laughs> Remember, it's really Gil you want! Gil! You do realize you just sick two bloodthirsty vampires after an innocent teen? We're alive, aren't we? But Gil is doomed. And so is anybody else with blood at the vampire movie premiere downtown. Well, I'd love to help Johnny, but I'm a dog, not a vampire slayer. You are now. And we're gonna slay your sisters with wooden stakes? Nah, they just make us look cool. We just gotta zap them back to the teleporter across their DNA with frogs until we figure this out. 
Frog teens are so much more likable than vampire teens. Let's roll! Hey, did Team Vampire Dream Exandra arrive yet? Nah, dude. Let's all bow to Overlord Balfour Mollus for more hot vampires. Sweet, it worked. Not sweet. Run! Kill next door. We want you. And I want Exandra! I'm here. Please don't touch me. I'm a star. Please don't follow me. Follow her! We must get inside and fight Gil and make him one of us for eternity. We'd like to buy two tickets to the Skylight Saga so we can bite our future boyfriend so he can be ours for eternity. <laughs> Sorry, sold out. Then I guess we'll just bite our way in. Ugh. Huh. I guess vampires can't bite through glass. Then we'll find another way in. No, you won't! Nice flip, buddy. Right back at you, JT. <laughs> You're going back to the lab so we can turn you into frog teens. Did that dog vampire slayer just talk? No! You can't stop us, little slayer brother! Gil will be ours. I can't believe I missed. But we did get the ticket taker. I'm freaking out! Move, dog! <laughs> it's locked! And now it's time to open it. And by that, I mean teleport it. <laughs> and I quit this job, too! Quick! We have to stop my Sisters of Darkness and save Gil! Quick! We must bite Gil before our Vampire Slayer brother stops us! Me. Now we'll be yours forever. This is my favorite part, where you get bit. Kill! It's time, time to receive our kiss. Yeah, nice trick. Now take your fake fangs and you wreck your medics and... <laughs> Sandra, use your vampire powers and stop them! I'm not a real vampire, idiot. I am no longer a fan of yours! Good, because you will now be ours. Are you sure you want to bite me? My blood type is O positive, and I hear it's the worst tasting blood. Bitter, not fruity like AP negative, and ah, help! Freeze, psycho vampire sisters! And drop the gill! Never! Oh, we're flying! I'm freaking out! Quick, zap them! I can't blast them with Gil there. They need to be separated. And that is why we win. And you lose, not vampire little brother. To an eternity with Gil! Help! Hey, you ruined my movie premiere, and I'm a big, big star, and I will make you pay! So, you want to go for a bite? Sure, okay. Help! We want you now! And I want my mommy! It's over, big sisters! Or Johnny, I'll take Johnny. I must bring an end to this and save the gill! Stop us? With what? And your dog obviously ran home to his mommy. Then it looks like I have to slay you old school style. <laughs> You're gonna kill us with wooden stakes? Mom and Dad will be really mad if you do that, Johnny. Yeah, I know. And that's why... What? Dookie's gonna blast you! That is one well-trained dog. Rough, rough, <laughs> rough. I know, right? To the lab! I'm so over vampire movies. We are gonna destroy you, Johnny! Yeah, just hold this for me before you do that. Now! What happened?
friend. What's going on? You turned yourselves into vampires and tried to eat Gil's earthly soul with your teeth. But we slayed you, not with wooden stakes, but with some particle ray thingy, and now you and Gil are safe. Well then, I guess you are hereby unbanished from the lab. It's good to have an annoying little brother who stops our crazy experiments every now and then. Oh, oh yeah, and you're sort of frog teens now. See ya. Bye now. Frog teens? Fix this, Johnny! You fix it. Later! Johnny! What's up, Johnny? What's up, Johnny? Oh, so Johnny Tess thinks he can blow off choir class again, hmm? I'm right here! Oh, right, I forgot. You haven't grown like the others. Okay, sing a sad note, everyone. Hey, buddy. Why are we bummed? I'm getting older, but I'm not getting taller. What? Oh, that is not true. Look out, Johnny! Ah! Hands up! <laughs> okay, you may have a point. Make me taller now! Well, testosterone therapy or gene splicing could help. But there's nothing wrong with being the size you are, kid brother. You'll grow eventually. Besides, these stories always end with the protagonist realizing how important it is to be the size they are. Where are you going with this? Just be who you are. You'll grow when your body is ready. Ugh! <laughs> oh, now that is good hot chocolate. That's ridiculous. Realizing it's important to be the size you are. Help! 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 Uh, you okay, roundish man? I can't rescue my cat. He's stuck under the stairs. Can you help me, smallish boy? No, oh, thank you, smallish boy. You've made us so happy. Oh, good kitty. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have saved the cat. But see, if you weren't smallish, you couldn't have saved the day. Hmm, maybe you're right, Dookie. <laughs> That's it! Make me bigger now! Great! Ah! We wanted to do some growth tests on you. But we thought it was only fair to give you the Be The Size You Are speech first. We are gonna grow you through our metabolism accelerator. It will increase your body's testosterone levels, thus increasing growth. We're giving you a maximum three-inch increase. Any higher dosage might result in faster growth and side effects. Side effects? What side effects? You said side effects. Oh, relax, furball. I never relax when I hear the word side effects. But I do relent when I see a steak. <laughs> okay, just one teeny weeny shot and voila, a taller Johnny. You don't need those freak me out! Well, we can give you a suppository. What's that? Are you nuts? How about we give it to you in a teaspoon of peach yogurt? Done. <laughs> Sup, John? Hey! <laughs> Johnny Test is in! <laughs> Johnny need more height! Now, now, now! Forget it! Too much testosterone in your system can be dangerous. And more importantly, if something goes wrong, Dad will kill us. What could go wrong with making me a little taller? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Observe. Look at what happens to normal docile mice when their testosterone levels are increased 256%. Oh, the mad mouse is all over Violet Berman! Oh, Violet Berman comes back with a tail whip! Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning! Oh, you don't think it's more exciting with the play-by-play? Too much testosterone can cause abnormal growth, mood swings, rude comments, hot dog feet, and a condition known as grotesticitis. Yeah. Taller, taller, taller! Okay, look. We don't need this turning into a story about a raging tween tearing up the town with a government agency after it so it can experiment on it. So stay out! Hmm. Hmm? No, 
Hmm, you heard the girls. Side effects! So don't even think about breaking in there and getting taller. I will stop you! Calm down, dog. I'm not gonna break into the lab and get taller. Uh, sup, Johnny? My. <laughs> Yogurt gone. Growth serum. Johnny! <laughs> you let Johnny into the lab. He uh, distracted me with steak. <laughs> Johnny has so much testosterone in him that even the slightest rise in temperament could cause a metamorphic transformation! Uh-huh, yeah. In English, please. If someone or something angers Johnny, he could freak and destroy the town and himself. Uh, quick, he's in recess. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, give us a push! Can I play? <laughs> Johnny, we love you, and we have to reduce your testosterone levels, and we need to do it now! Uh -huh. Now this won't hurt a bit. Needles freak Johnny out! <laughs> you know Needles upset him! We're out of peach yogurt! <laughs> okay, I'm officially scared. Johnny's testosterone before. Hey now, nothing says they want to catch him to use for military experiments. Catch that beast so we can use them for military experiments. Look on the bright side. He didn't say dangerous experiments. Oh yeah, they're gonna be dangerous. <laughs> This is Sky Brigade. I'm going to press the red button now. We've got to get the antidote in him now! But if we give him a needle, he'll get even more enraged! And again! He ate all the pink yogurt! Careful! I want him in one piece! Okay, two pieces max! There is another way to get him the medicine. Help! Remember the way that doctors took our temperatures that wasn't our mouth? Ah! I feel bad, but once we experiment on Hulky Johnny in a secret location, whoa, Nelly! We'll create super soldiers that cannot be defeated and blah, blah, blah. Uh, load them up, boys! <laughs> We've only got one shot. Come on, come on. Get him in, get him in! Come on! Bingo! Fire in the hole! <laughs> uh, man, I hate getting medicine like that. Oh, great! There goes my super soldier research! Yeah, but we got Johnny back. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, that, well, that's good, too. Okay, so I'm not destroying the town. Or getting dissected for military research. You're welcome. But I'm still smallish and stink at basketball again. Is that all you want? Why didn't you say so? Looking good, Johnny. Nice kicks. Good. 
good, but it's gonna take a while to get used to them. Hey, let's all laugh now, like they do at the end of old sitcoms. Okay. 